I'd just like to say a few words about uh, high voltage power lines and pylons, as we, we call them in Ireland. There's been a lot of debate over the last six months, particularly about the health effects, and I'm just going to concentrate on that. But I would like to say that there are many, many impacts of high voltage power lines which need to be considered. So I suppose the first question is, do we need them? Of course we need an upgraded and a strengthened grid, and nobody would dispute that. But the question is, how much more do we need? And that's a bigger question, which I've dealt with in another area when I talk about sustainable energy. Just for this minute or two, I want to talk to you about health implications. The SINHA report, which is a committee set up by the European Commission, reported just a couple of weeks back on the possible health effects of electromagnetic fields. Now, that report was spun at the time as follows. What the report said was when it came to childhood leukemia and the, the link between childhood leukemia and overhead power lines, uh, they, there was no change. It was the same as previously. But the spinning in Ireland ensured that no change was seen or was interpreted, shall we say, as no risk. And this was quite deliberate. I have absolutely no doubt about it. So for you to be absolutely sure what the sign her report said, I'll simply read the last paragraph of a very, very long section. It's actually, for those of you who are interested, page 125 of the report, where it says, or where it speaks of, the conclusions on epidemiological studies. And it says, the previous assessment of the 2009 Seinher statement of a possible association between long-term exposure to ELF magnetic fields and an increased risk of childhood leukemia remains valid. From an, epidemi an epidemiological point of view, the association appears to be robust. Having been observed in multiple settings, sorry, multiple studies in different settings at different points of time. It then goes on to say, unfortunately, little progress has been made in explaining the findings, both in terms of finding a plausible mechanism for a causal association or in identifying alternative explanations. So what does that say? It says, it is happening, we see the evidence, we know it's happening, but we don't know why it's happening. It's very important that that's very clear for people because the fact that we don't know why or that we can't join up the dots scientifically does not in any way negate the fact that the link is there, the risk is there, and the studies have shown it. Now, when that happens, we then have to take the precautionary principle. The precautionary principle means that we take whatever precautions are necessary to minimize that risk. I'm not saying we can get rid of it. We are surrounded by risk. We're surrounded by electromagnetic fields. So what we do is we minimize the risk. And that means, or it may mean, undergrounding. It may also mean, or should mean, that homes, schools, hospitals shouldn't be in the vicinity of overhead power lines, either 110 kV or 440 kV. Those are sensible restrictions which are in place in many member states in the EU. And where we need the high voltage power lines, then undergrounding has to be a part of that solution because otherwise we are not taking the precautionary principle into consideration. And we know that it's happening more and more at European level. Yes, it is more expensive, but when you mitigate risk, there's always a cost. You cannot pretend there's no risk. You cannot go ahead with this and say all is fine because then if you do, you're trying to fool people. And I don't know about you, but I think most people are gone past that. So when it comes to health effects, we need to take the precautionary principle and we need to listen very carefully to what the scientists are saying. And as a final comment on that, as I do this piece to, to camera, this evening I'm going to Greece to speak tomorrow 
at the opening of the two-day conference, which is part of the public consultation on this report. And my objective in going there is to ensure that all of the different studies are taken into consideration, not just some, and that we get a really good overview of all of the scientific evidence that's out there, so that when it comes to making decisions about uh, overhead power lines and uh, you know, about possible health risks, we make the best possible decisions.